Good morning. Come on, Prince. Andrea from Huck and Buck Farm. Drop off. Attending to my dog who is or needs ball therapy. But welcome to Huck and Buck Farm. Again, my name is Andrea Haritos. My husband is Michael. And we are here in Smyrna, Delaware. If you have never heard of Smyrna, Delaware, it's a cute little quaint town in Delaware. But we have been farming now for, gosh, three years since 2020 is when we moved in on our wedding anniversary, January 22nd. Um, but today's video is going to be about the eggs that Michael and I sell. And I'm not gonna go into a bunch of details in reference to breeds and colors and the whole bit. I just wanna say that you guys have been supporting Huck and Buck Farm tremendously with your egg purchases. And with that being said, I think you guys who are local need to come to the farm and check us out. So here it is, you have an opportunity, again, for those of you who are local, meaning within an hour's drive, um, to be able to come out and see what is actually going on here on the farm. So a lot of us purchase our food and it's coming from wherever. We don't know what the farm looks like. We don't know the people. We don't know the harvesting and processing um, process. And we just purchase, eat, put our seasonings on it, and it's delicious. I am challenging you to actually come out to the farm, 765 Smyrna Landing Road, Smyrna, Delaware. I will put the um, address again, maybe not, in the description. But here in the video, I've said it, 765 Smyrna Landing Road in Smyrna, Delaware. Come out to the farm and see where your eggs are coming from. So we purchase them. I get people that ask me questions about their food. You know, if it's non-GMO, genetically modified organisms. I just looked that up. Um, but it's it's serious to you so therefore i'm challenging you if again you're local for it to be ah, 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 don't you go in there for it to be serious with regard to you coming out and seeing where your food is coming from this is scratch which has oats and sunflowers and corn and a bunch of other stuff in it cracked corn that our chickens enjoy and this is what they get as a treat their food that we give them are in different um, forms meaning it could come as a crumble it can come as a pellet we give them um, other things meaning veggies from the garden also as you can see they're not on grass does that concern you? If it does, understand why they're not on grass. So that is part of the reason why I want you to come down to the farm and not just buy from us, but get to know me. Get to know my husband. And yes, it's the two of us that are manning down the forts here on the farm. We don't have little kids, they're grown. Thank you, Jesus. And we're handling this ourselves. We offer different things like chore day for your children to come out and actually um, acquire the hours that they might need in reference to volunteer hours. So there's opportunity there for volunteers, especially when you need that stuff on your resume. And plus it's something a little different, you know, outside of the norm. So come to the farm understand why we also don't have chickens free-ranging if i had chickens free-ranging see that garden and all that space back there i would never have a vegetable so 
again, Huck and Buck Farm here in Smyrna, Delaware. I want you to come and have a conversation with us about where your eggs are coming from, where your meat is coming from. When we offer meat chicken um, from our Cornish Cross, our Jumbo Cornish Cross, the turkeys that we serve you during the holidays, also soon to come goats and soon to come pigs. Michael has mapped out a space for the goats. We're actually gonna probably expand this, but if you can see, we'll sing the post the post behind me to the corner. I don't know if he's actually moved this because I told him what he originally had was a little too small, only because we have to put a run for the goats to stay in, in that space. So I might need for him to come out here a little bit in this area. But other than that, chickens, again, meat of all sources, um, just to come out and see where your food is coming from. Don't just purchase. And we still need the $4 for the eggs, $6 for the duck eggs, and that's a dozen on the duck, dozen on the chicken, and six for half a dozen of the goose because they're huge. So the farmers that are in my area, um, people like Priscilla with Lock Gardenista Pharmacy. She's here also in Delaware. She has a beautiful urban farm. She and I swap and barter. She gives me some of her fruit tree clippings or cuttings. I've given her a few of my chickens that are older just because she had a little, you know, drama on her had of space there with her chickens so I gave her some of my babies but again don't just spend your money when you have an opportunity to come and ask questions ask why we do things the way we do it figure out if buying eggs from us whether you've done it and or are going to do it and have not yet done it you know why do you want to do it is it just because they're farm eggs? Why are they farm eggs? What does that mean to you? So come on out to Huck and Buck Farm. Again, 765 Smyrna Landing Road in Smyrna, Delaware. My name is Andrea Haritos. My husband is Michael Haritos. Pronounce it like Doritos. That's the best I got for you. But come and check out the farm. Check out my babies. I'd love to see you here. Farm visits and tours are $20 that we charge because it helps us keep that feed that we are given to the birds, uh, like replenished and in the barrels as they should be, not empty, but full. So we ask for a $20 donation and that's about that. So Huck and Buck Farm, see you here. Let's talk chickens. Toodles.